we are done discussing about the different mediums in uh, in visual arts. Let's now proceed to the different mediums of music. Basically, music deals with sound. The medium of music is the sound. The medium of music is the sound produced by man and the human voice and by most musical instruments. The musical instruments which have a vibrator, a resonator, and a system for producing and regulating fixed pitches are grouped into four main types. So they are types of string, the woodwind, brass, and percussion instrument. So the string under string instruments, we have violin. So violin is the smallest of the string instruments and has the highest pitch. The next one is cello. The cello is much larger than the violin and has longer, thicker, and heavier strings. The cello is bigger than the violin and the viola, so it resets on the floor when it is played. The large protrusing pin and its base hold it firmly on the floor. We also have viola. So the viola and both violin and viola are played by tucking the instrument under the chin of the musicians when they are playing. The next one is a double bass. So the double bass is the longest of the string instrument and has the lowest pitch. The distinguishing feature of string instruments is that the smaller the size, the higher is its pitch. And the larger it is, the lower it its uh, pitch. Another one is harp. Harp is one of the oldest string instruments consisting of a triangular frame formed by a sound box, a pillar and curved neck, and a having strings that are stretched between the sounds box and necks or black with fingers. The guitar. So the guitar is a string musical instrument with a, uh, with a long fretted neck, a flat somewhat violently like body, and has six strings which are black. So for the guitar, there are different variations of guitar. We have the electric guitar, the bass guitar, and some other types of guitar not mentioned. Let's now proceed to the woodwinds. The wind instrument consists of tubes usually made of wood which have holes on the side. When one or another of these holes is open or closed, air inside the tube is changed, thus producing tones or varied pitches. The key are set and arranged to suit the natural position of the fingers of the musician while he plays the instrument. A, a good example for woodwind is the flute. So the flute is a musical wind instrument consisting of a tube with a series of finger holes or key in which the wind is directed against a sharp edge. The flute produces a melodious sound and so it often plays solo part in orchestral composition in a concert. Another example is clarinet. A clarinet is a woodwind instrument in the form of a cylindrical tube with a single reed attached to its mouthpiece. It has a wide range and usually plays the alto part when the flute plays the melody. The piccolo is a small flute sounding an octave higher than the ordinary flute. So what is the difference when we say octave? When we say octave, we are actually referring to eight, meaning the piccolo is more or it has higher pitch compared to a, uh, to a regular flute. The oboe is a woodwind instrument having a slender conical body and double reed mouthpiece. It's the tone of the oboe is nasal. So the tone of oboe is nasal. Next is the bassoon. The so bassoon is a large, uh, larger woodwind instrument of a low range with a double tube and a curved metal group to which a double reed is attached. So that is a bassoon. The next one is saxophone. A saxophone is a musical wind instrument consisting of a conical, usually brass tube with keys or valves and mouthpiece with one reed. This musical instrument is not a regular member of the orchestra. Oh, the, let's now proceed to the brass instrument. The brass instruments consist of cylindrical brass, the tubes of varying length. So a good example of brass instrument is the trumpet. So what is the trumpet? Our trumpet. The trumpet is a brass instrument with a powerful penetrating tone consisting of a tube commonly curved once or twice around it and having a cup-shaped mouthpiece at one end at the bell of the other. Because of its piercing tone when played, it is associated with a martial pump. Ito yung ginagamit natin sa, uh, sa mga military and graduation rites, the trumpet. We also have the horn. So what is horn? The horn is a wind instrument originally formed from the hollow horn of an animal, but now it is usually made of the brass or other metals. So as the name implies horn, tunog siya parang tunog ng horn. The next is the trombone. 
So a trombone is a musical wind instrument consisting of a cylindrical metal tube expanding into a bell and bent twice in U-shape, uh, usually equipped with a slide. We also have the tuba. The tuba is the bass of the brass choir. It is also a valiant brass wind instrument having a low range. So remember that the, the bigger the instrument is, the lower the pitch. The smaller the instrument or the musical instrument, the higher its range in pitch. Let's now proceed to the different percussion instruments. So when we say percussion instrument, pinapalo. The word percussion simply means the striking of one body against another with some sharpness. The striking or tapping or scratching of the instruments with the hand generates some excitement and enlivens the orchestral sound. A good example of percussion instrument is the, chi uh, the chimes. The chimes, hindi ito yung nasa door natin. The chimes is a musical instrument consisting of a set of slabs of metal which produce musical tones when struck. Uh, chimes originated from China. Next, another example of percussion instrument is the glockenspiel. It's a musical instrument composed of a set of graduated steel bars mounted in a frame and struck with hammers and used specially in bands. Ang tawag natin dito sa atin dito is lyre. Tama? It's the lyre. Yung ginagamit sa mga banda, especially during high school days. We also have the cymbal. The cymbal is a concave plate of brass or bronze that produces a sharp ringing sound when struck uh, played either in pairs by being struck together by simply by being struck by a drumstick. Symbol, uh, kaman ito sa car, yung gong, ang pangalan naman nila. Yung symbol naman is the uh, western term of gong. Pero dito, in pair siya pag sa western. Pero pag sa eastern, isa lang siya, pinapalo siya ng kamay. Yun ang symbol. Next is the xylophone. Xylophone is a musical instrument consisting of a graduated series of wooden bars Usually sounded by striking with small wooden bars, uh, striking with small wooden hammers. Ganito siya, para rin siyang lyre. May, may set of octaves din siya. We also have the kettle drum. Kettle drum um, is very popular uh, for in China, Japan, and Korea. It's consisting of a hollow hemisphere of brass or copper over which is a stretch of a skin. Ito yung ginagamit nila, kamanli yung drum na ginagamit ng mga, mga Eastern people. Okay, thank you and God bless.